lunch now and you can have one drink of your choice towards, uh, towards the lunch and any other drinks are on your expenses and uh, then I want to ask you if you want to go on a, on a guided tour around the city and then to have some time for shopping or to go all the shopping. Now we click to video 1 and then import. Participated really well. I think it's going to be a really and, good movie. Uh, do you think it will be a successful film? Yeah, I think I think so. I think it will be in the in the theaters next year. But we first have to find like a company who wants to do that for us. I think it's really good. Yeah. Okay. Especially thank the principal was very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. In part one, I want to tell you something about communication with. Uh, deaf uh, children and in the second part I want you to show you uh, the presentation of our uh, children uh, which they made uh, uh, this year uh, during the um, sport competition in Lublin. This is the uh, town in Poland. The other way of communication. With the lips. Deaf yes. read my lips. Yes, you are right. So this is the reading from uh, lips from mouth. It is called reading from mouth. Very good. Uh, by uh, internet. Hello. Yes, very good. So, uh, very good. By internet. So, just reading. Yes, okay. reading the text.
take about take care about uh, youth uh, from the age of 15 until uh, 26, and uh, we are working to, uh, to we are we like to uh, exchange experts with the others in the international uh, European Union <laughs> and the other Mediterranean countries. Now I am uh, I suggest to work on the. What you mentioned, uh, I'm also Muslim, uh, you know, but now, nowadays we have many problems in the TV, especially, like between the, يعني, religious, yeah, and the civilization, uh, I suggest to work uh, this subject, because uh, after the tourist attack on Amman also, yes. not uh, in Madrid, just or in Washington, uh, I think uh, all of us need to know each other. In the African community and all Asian who immigrate youth, a person who immigrate in Europe, and uh, how how we can exchange experience in this uh, organization and organization to uh, be the world ju uh, injustice. And they put them together in kind of workshops where they can understand, find out what uh, the ways and means they can be upon to have a just society for tomorrow where everyone, no matter where you come from, immigrant or whatever, or born there, you can just be valued and be active in the society where you are welcome and equal. A lot of young people want to study abroad and stay there. Stay, stay and not to return. So Why? Why? Because of economical reasons. They think that it's easier to to live abroad and to earn money. Well, yeah. I, I believe this, uh, this could be a successful uh, step towards uh, the countries that uh, face uh, these uh, difficult uh, problems. Of course. We are doing a number of projects and um, I found a number of people that I would really, really like to work with. There are wonderful, wonderful people here and they are all very um, uh, enthusiastic and energetic to, uh, to work with. I have uh, partners from Holland, from Cyprus, Latvia, Estonia, uh, Slovakia, Czech, um, and um, uh, quite a lot of Poland. For me it was also interesting because we do not have many contacts with the East Europe countries, so I was really, really very impressed with Eastern Europeans and the Czech people, quite nice, I loved it.